Hey everyone, so in today's video I want to address some of the comments that I've been getting on my channel, especially this one. I appreciate everyone who's been watching my videos and especially the ones who've been uh, giving me feedback on the things that I'm doing wrong. The constructive criticism is always welcome. And thanks a lot for all the people who pointed out that I'm using sound effects like a lot and which is quite annoying. I've taken that into effect and I've not uh, included the sound effects in my last couple of videos, at least uh, not the annoying one. So in this video, I want to answer to this particular comment right here. And it's not the first one that I've got, which says that I've been putting some negative comments in regards to a BYD car, which is not uh, entirely true. Like I understand people he might not have seen uh, the entire video and they might have uh, missed out on the fact that I do like the cars that I own and there's a reason that I bought these two cars and I cannot praise them enough and recommend people to just go and do a test drive of these two brands if you're looking into buying a new car, especially an EV. And by end of the video, you would know my biases towards why I say what I say, as well as if you're still not satisfied, I'll actually give you a reference to one of the incidents and videos which made me feel exactly what you just felt or what at least this person just felt that, you know, I'm putting negative image towards the brand. And given that I only have 400 something subscribers, the video that I'm referring to is from a content creator and he's actually one of the biggest creators or one of the creators who got uh, biggest amount of subscribers and views in Australia as far as I'm aware when it comes to content creation regarding Teslas and EVs. But saying that I would not go to the extent of writing comments, especially to the extent of what this person have shared in this comment where he says, oh, I need to stop negative marketing about BYD or negative comments about BYD on petty things. Now, I want to clarify two things. First of all, I bought the car. It's not like I've just driven the car for a couple of hours or even 20 minutes and I'm just putting negative comments out there. I bought the car, which means I believe that the car is worth buying. So if you're not aware, then I want to bring the attention to you that uh, I'm not a person who got uh, heaps of money to spend on cars and just so that I can, you know, say negative things about them. So if I bought a car, I bought it for a good reason. I did a lot of calculations in my mind as well as, you know, a lot of considerations before I actually put the money down for getting these cars and uh, saying that if I'm saying something negative about, about the car that's my personal experience with the car and I wouldn't be the one who just because I bought a car or I like a company I would say all good things about them even though I'm suffering like for example with Tesla's the rear seat at the car is as bad as I've seen in any of the cars that I've owned including a Ford Focus like the seat were in my Ford Focus was uh, clothed but they were way more comfortable compared to the Tesla Model 3 and that's that's my experience with it like people might be fine with it but I don't think they are good seats but that doesn't make it a bad car. Given the scenario, if you're the primary driver or you just have a one passenger in your car, I don't think there's any better car to buy than a Tesla Model 3 at this stage, especially the new one. For example, if the BYD doesn't have good tires and they skid at every opportunity they get, then just because I bought a BYD doesn't mean I'm gonna say that, you know, it doesn't have bad tires or it could have a bit better interior, which is more usable when it comes to, you know, storing even the water bottles because I haven't covered it yet, but my experience with the BYD Auto 3 is like, it's, it's a great car, but there are a couple of problems when it comes to the overall experience with the car. And first and foremost is the tires that this car have is uh, as bad as it can get. The tires doesn't have enough traction to control the wheel spin when it comes to any sort of a wet or rainy scenario. And that's not a good thing, especially if a new car is coming to market, they need to take care of these things as well. I understand maybe to keep the price of the car low, that was a strategy which was taken uh, into consideration, but uh, that's one of the first things which I would recommend if you're getting a BYD Auto 3, that's the first thing you would want to be changed just to make your car extra safe. 
and saying that it's not like uh, the cars capable of handling the skids which would mean that the car's traction control system is actually pretty good like although the tire spins but i've never found myself in a scenario where i think oh i'm gonna crash the car you know it's it's alarmingly unsafe but still uh that's my opinion and my experience so far coming back to the comments that i've received over the year that i've been creating these videos i appreciate every comment that i receive including these ones which seems to be a bit more i think focused on pointing me in the right direction but for the wrong reasons because i don't believe social media and the content on youtube should be taken as a news article or you know a published a video from a reputed source like it's it's youtube where people share opinions and you know their experiences which is what i'm doing so if i say uh, byd car is bad and you know i'm giving my justification that's my opinion of it and i felt uh, but but saying that it's not like i don't understand and i feel what people are saying because when i just reviewed the byd seal and i gave my first impressions of it i really liked the car and so i saw this video of uh, ryan tesla model 3 and model y now and ryan's uh, been a great content creator as represented by his i think ever increasing number of subscribers and the views he gets but uh, he mentioned among various things while he was viewing multiple cars that the BYD's interior is very cheap. But I thought that they felt incredibly cheap and poorly designed. And it made me feel a bit weird. And not to the extent of, you know, me going out and putting comments on his video saying, hey, you cannot say that, stop putting the negative image of BYD and whatnot, because I understand that's his opinion of the car. and. Uh, given the scenario that there's another big creator which i follow is uh, tom from ludicrous feed he actually bought a byd seal and he could not stop uh, mentioning how premium the car feels it just feels so good like feels very premium i just cannot believe it's still under 60 grand for this vehicle that's insane honestly and that's more in line with what i felt so that doesn't mean that, you know, uh, one creator or one person is wrong and the other one's right. It's just opinion and their experiences with the car and interiors. And saying that it's uh, weird because just a couple of weeks after uh, Ryan mentions that, you know, the BYD interior is cheap, he did another video where he mentions that out of three cars, which was a Mini, Coopers, EV, a Polestar 2 and uh, BYD Aero 3, he actually recommend people to go out and try BYD Aero 3. Three, so saying. Sorry, again. Nothing. Maybe one more time. Cancel. The day and was absolutely awesome driving it around country Victoria and probably our peak of the bunch. So, as I was saying, saying that a car's interior is cheap, uh, and then coming back to saying that he recommends that car for people to go out and try and even rent out. That's a bit contradicting, but then again, it's something which I leave it to him and his audience. So the discrepancy sort of showed that, you know, it's social media and you're free to say whatever you want to say. And saying that the person who's commented on my video that I'm putting negative image of BYD I'm sure that if he's seen all my video and completed to the end he would have known that that was not my intent and eventually I do like my car that's why I bought it that's why I'm planning to keep it and if uh, BYD releases another car which is a uh, SUV but it's got the interior like uh, the seal I would love to swap my BYD Aero 3 with that but saying that just saying that you know it means that i don't hate the car brand and i don't want to put a negative image towards byd and in every video of mine where i mentioned byd i always say and suggest that you know go try and test those out because they are fantastic cars especially for the price and then we all need to understand that you know just because we have freedom to say whatever we can say on platforms like youtube and instagram and things like that we shouldn't be doing it 
goes both ways in comments as well as when creating the videos but when i create a video it's just to uh, learn how to create more videos and uh, share my opinion and you know help out people who are considering buying either of the two cars that i own that's it for this video i just wanted to uh, put it out there that just because i said something bad about the car doesn't mean i intend to put a negative image towards it especially i own these cars so why would i want to ever say that i made a bad decision and continue making that decision like if i hated this car i would have actually gotten rid of it or i would have tried to you know replace it with model y or whatnot but i actually like this car and uh, more more often than not i find myself driving a byd more than tesla it could be because of my i think middle class mentality where i think that uh, if anything happens to byd it's easy and cheaper to fix compared to a tesla which could be quite a big uh, chunk of money to fix because even the small i think glass roof part costs around two and a half grand on that which is not the case on BOID as far as i'm aware so I, maybe that's the reason just kidding i actually like both cars uh at for different purposes and especially if you're driving on a freeway and it's not free flowing traffic BYD actually does a pretty decent job when it comes to cruise control and hence i I don't mind driving it even to the city uh, on a work day and uh, if I'm going further on freeways and where I could use uh, the advanced feature of autopilot and the tech that Tesla provides I absolutely want to drive that car wherever I can and uh, I think both of these cars do have their merits and I understand if you're trying to buy one or the other just go ahead and try it out make sure it fits your needs because they are targeting to different audiences like it's not a simple question of just buying an electric car when it comes to these two brands one is more focused on the tech side and it always keeps the ui getting refreshed and the experience always keep getting uh, better and better as far as i'm aware and i'm i cannot wait for of the new interface to be rolled out to my tesla model 3 i haven't seen it yet on my car and uh, i haven't seen any other model 3 got it yet i, I believe it's been rolled out to model wise but i can't uh, wait to get my hands on it and uh, i'll actually review the interface of my current tesla model 3 in the next video and so when we so when we get the new interface at least we have something to compare that you know how much improvement we've got in the new uh, version but until then drive safe take care and i'll see you in the next one